the Volkshalle, or People's Hall. It was also called the Große Hall, Great Hall, and the Romeshalle, Hall of Fame. This was an unbuilt and grand proposal for a domed building to be the centerpiece of Hitler's plans for a new Berlin. Hitler wanted Berlin to be the cultural and architectural capital of the world, featuring monuments at a scale never before seen. Beyond this, Hitler intended for many of the world's masterpieces and monuments to be transplanted to Berlin, including such monuments as Nelson's Column in London. Of course, this wouldn't happen, and the People's Hall would not be built. The hall, however, has become an icon in alternate history fiction, where it is featured in many What If Germany Won the War productions, most notably The Man in the High Castle, where it is frequently featured, including the interior depicted as housing Hitler's residence, offices, and war rooms. The hall was conceived by Adolf Hitler and designed by his architect Albert Speer. Albert Speer was a close ally of Adolf Hitler, and the two of them worked together, designing models and concepts, some of which were actually built, like the new Reich Chancellery, destroyed in 1945. Speer was also the Minister of Armaments and War Production in Nazi Germany. Hitler took great interest in classical Greek and Roman architecture. He was inspired by the Pantheon in Rome, which he visited in 1938. Hitler began sketching design ideas for Berlin, starting in the mid-1920s. When Hitler toured Paris after conquering France in 1940, he wanted Berlin to overshadow the city in all architectural respects. He was said to have been underwhelmed by the Paris Pantheon. Hitler wanted his designs to turn Berlin into Welthauptstadt Germania, or World Capital Germania. Berlin was to become the greatest city ever built, and the centerpiece of a greater Germanic Reich. The rebuilding of Berlin would further remove the city as a blemish on German efficiency. Berlin's rapid growth over the past 50 years prior to World War II saw poor city planning. The city was known for its congestion. However, Hitler and Speer would lose track of any original plans to make Berlin more functional and focus primarily on vanity projects. The dimensions of the People's Hall would have dwarfed every building in Berlin. It would have appeared as a small mountain within the cityscape. The oculus of the dome was to be 46 meters, 151 feet in diameter. The dome was set on top of the hall, measuring 315 by 315 meters and 74 meters high. This would give the building a total height of 290 meters or 950 feet. The interior of the hall was also inspired by the Pantheon in Rome. A large niche or recess at the north end of the hall was to be surfaced with gold mosaic. Here a 24 meter near 80 foot tall eagle statue would sit. Beneath the eagle, Hitler could address upwards to 180,000 spectators, some standing in the central round area, others seated in three concentric tiers of seats, supported by 100 marble pillars, the concentric tiers of seats resembling the Colosseum in Rome. The dome would have been coffered just like the Pantheons, though suspended from steel girders. On top of the dome's lantern would have been another German heraldic eagle, this time clutching the globe of the earth. This symbolism was well known in Imperial Roman iconography. Hitler further consulted with his official state sculptor, Arno Breker, to build two 15-meter-tall Greek statues of Atlas and Tellus for the structure, possibly representing Germany's dominion over the earth. After the war, Speer stated it was his belief that Hitler wanted the hall to be similar to a temple, so it may be a future place of worship to the Third Reich, even becoming a global holy site to National Socialism. Of course, Berlin would be turned to rubble by 1945, and world capital Germania would not be built. Surviving today, a simple heavy load-bearing body constructed to test Berlin's soft ground to see if construction of such heavy projects would have even been feasible. At the very least, Berlin's ground would have made construction of the massive People's Hall astronomically expensive. Another issue the building would have experienced with its massive dome is that with 150,000 heavy-breathing fanatics in attendance, the dome would have developed its own weather, a Nazi fog of sorts. A sophisticated ventilation system would have needed to be further built. All right, I'm Johnny. 
reminding you to never make concrete plans with a failed artist. Thanks for watching, take care, and have a nice rest of your day.